Well, a good Thursday morning to you, everyone. Welcome back. This is Morning Musings, and my name is Don K. Preston. I am the president of Preterist Research Institute of Ardmore, Oklahoma. We are currently looking at John Hagee's four blood moon predictions, and yes, I'm aware of the fact absolutely nothing happened that he said would happen. And furthermore, I'm aware of the fact that he's already moved on. Don't you think it remarkable, by the way, that John Hagee said that something earth-shattering, something huge was about to happen no later than September 28, 2015, and yet all the while he had been busy writing another book about the three heavens and doing more work on the four horsemen of the apocalypse telling us, oh, the four horsemen, we're, we're, right, we're on the verge. We're on the verge. The end is near. Well, folks, hey, wait a minute. If the end was supposed to be September the 28th, if all these earth-shattering events, something big was supposed to happen during that period of time, and the big thing that would have to happen as the sign, biblically speaking at least, would be the day of the Lord, uh, why was John Hagee publishing or writing more books, getting ready to publish them immediately after the fourth blood moon? Why did he... Why was he already planning to do a series on the four horsemen of Revelation immediately after the four, fourth blood moon if something earth-shattering was to take place at that time? It's because he knew nothing was supposed to happen. Well, in today's segment, which will be our last on John Hagee uh, and the four blood moons, at least for a while, I want to notice as I already have, how incredibly badly John Hagee abuses Scripture. He cherry-picks one passage that sounds impressive. He, he's guilty of what's known as proof texting. Proof texting is just lifting a text out of its context. It says something that sounds impressive, sounds frightening, sounds, quote, relevant, unquote, and you totally ignore the actual context. Now look, folks, a text taken out of context is nothing but a pretext for self-rationalization and for personal uses. And John Hagee does this constantly. Now, Joel, too, said in the, in the last days the Holy Spirit would be poured out as a sign before the coming of the great and terrible day of the Lord, along with the moon being turned to blood. Peter, in Acts chapter 2, likewise, citing Joel, said Joel was being fulfilled in the outpouring of the Holy Spirit that day. They were seeing it. They were hearing it. They were experiencing it. And so the Spirit was to be poured out as a sign, along with the moon being turned to blood before the coming of the great and terrible day of the Lord. Well, guess what? John Hagee also cites Matthew chapter 24, 29 and following, which, in which Jesus, answering the question of the disciples about the fall of Jerusalem, the end of the age, and His coming, He says that there would be, in that generation, there would be a tribulation as a result of the abomination of desolation, such as has not been since the foundation of the world, nor ever yet shall be. Now watch this. Catch the power of this. Immediately after, after doesn't mean before, immediately after the tribulation. What tribulation? The great tribulation immediately after the tribulation of those days, the days of the abomination of desolation and the tribulation itself. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, watch this, the sun will be darkened, the moon will not give its light, the stars will fall from the heaven and the powers of the heaven will be shaken. Whoa! Do you catch the power of that? Now, the moon being darkened is the direct parallel, because John Hagee quoted it this way. He recognized it. 
the direct parallel to Joel 2, Acts chapter 2, the, the moon being darkened is the equivalent to the moon shall be turned to blood. Okay, do you catch it? In other words, the quote blood moon of the day of the Lord as a sign of the day of the Lord would come after, immediately after the great tribulation. So when John Hagee told us, told the world that from April of 2014 and September of 2015 that we were going to see the blood moon of Joel 2, Acts 2, and Matthew 24, 29 of necessity, that meant that the blood moon of September the 28, 2015, had to have taken place immediately after the Great Tribulation. Well, let me ask you, did the Great Tribulation take place before September 28, 2015? Hello? <laughs> you know and I know. Everyone knows it did not happen. So once again, John Hagee is exposed as a person perverting the scripture, as a per person guilty of cherry picking, as a person ignoring what the Bible actually says. When was the moon to be darkened? Immediately after the tribulation. Since the tribulation did not occur immediately prior to April 2014, or during any period of time up to and including September 28, 2015, since the tribulation did not occur at that time and immediately before those events, that proves beyond a shadow of a doubt John Hagee was perverting the scripture. He, his entire house of the four blood moon theology is disproven by one word or a few words immediately after the tribulation of those days. You see how he abused the scripture? You see how he perverted the scripture? You see how he ripped it out of its context? Folks, John Hagee is a false teacher. Look, let me ask you, if you want more exposure, just the simple fact that we are not in the last days. We are not looking for the signs of the end. Jesus said, all of those things that he was talking about would be in his generation. Go to my website, get my book, The Last Days Identified, and you will see for yourself irrefutable proof taking Scripture in context, not out of context, not abusing the text. You will see for yourself the last days were in the first century. And they referred to the last days of Old Covenant Israel, old, the Old Covenant that ended with the fall of Jerusalem in A.D. 70. This book will change your life. So go to my website, eschatology.org, bibleprophecy.com, order the book. Include a note that says you saw the offer on YouTube or Facebook, and I'll refund your shipping, and I'll say that will save you almost $5. So thanks for joining me for this morning's morning musings. Lord willing, nothing happens. We'll see you on Monday. You have a safe, a blessed weekend. We'll see you on Monday. Thank you for joining me.